This episode of Spider-Man is made possible by the amazing support of viewers just like you. I hope you enjoy the video and have an absolutely fantastic day. Well, I guess we're having a little bit of future Brian here today. What's going on, everybody? My name is Brian Saviano, Spider-Man PlayStation 4. Uh, my audio was turned off for this entire beginning section of us taking down multiple demons in the skyscraper. So instead of scrapping all of it, because it's, it's got some pretty cool takedowns and whatnot, uh, I wanted to redo bit of the commentary here well you know what we do here is not really relevant to what's going to be coming up in a couple minutes here so i figured why not um i'm clearly uh not having the same background it's currently halloween so uh for my luigi's mansion playthrough i am doing the um the background it's halloween time even though it's technically still september but don't tell anybody that that's okay so uh yeah we're just we're here and this is just another section of using stealth as much as we possibly can i don't want to alert these guys i want to get this done as quick as possible i don't want to pay any mind to anybody and uh i guess a couple interesting things happen um this is really where the e3 demo comes in which was actually right here actually um point of controversy the whole huddle gate thing which i guess you know now that i'm not paying attention to the actual story or the gameplay here i can actually talk about it a little bit because with spider-man it's been a very difficult playthrough me now just editing everything together and trying to have everything be a cohesive piece it's been very tough because you really need to focus on the story and there's a lot to do with the story but right here you're just battling a bunch of guys so the the thing hey, that really? happened with Puddlegate yeah, now that I get a chance to explain it nice jump when the E3 Slimmy. game trailer or was it gameplay Wait, it, might it was gameplay when the gameplay first came out is basically this snippet right here from the moment he lands on the column where you saw a bunch of guys and then the fist guy was hanging uh, from the ceiling that Saving moment on until pretty much Not when my actual commentary pick picks back up here in a second a uh that is when the three demo was and with puddlegate it was in the trailer it looked a lot more cinematic i guess is the right word uh it, the, the colors were a little bit darker there was a little bit more grit to it and it made it a little bit more realistic where with the final game obviously you have a little bit of that realism but they're also is this cartoony comic book feel of the overall universe as realistic as it does look it doesn't look like i don't know it doesn't look as call of duty realistic and the, the puddles in the uh, you know the area right here actually lost a little bit of detail compared to the e3 demo which is why they called it puddle game so i you know you know me i personally don't care about graphics if the gameplay is good if the story is good if the means to keep playing it is good i'm gonna keep playing it i'm gonna have a good time with it so with with that i i didn't pay any mind to it at all i was just like oh that's a good game and that's that's it so that's where i fell in the whole thing um, i really went blackout with the whole spider-man stuff uh right when it was coming out people were like wow this game is phenomenal it's so good blah, 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 blah. now obviously it's great it's it's awesome i've completed it and there's plenty of stuff to come for the entire story I, i've mentioned it a bunch of times throughout the playthrough so far uh the story in this game phenomenal uh movie quality story not just like a oh it's a spider-man well, video game i really this wanted this to be cinematic like a movie but uh you know it's good when a story like that can be told in a video game and there's a lot of detail to it that the movie probably wouldn't get to and that's the difference between having a game and having a movie is in a game you can pack in so many more details about a story the characters that you would never ever i just toss that over, over the ledge okay um you would get so many more details than you would in a movie because in a movie you're constricted to maybe two hours two and a half hours here you have what a dozen hour experience and how do these guys not see me at all you have I'm sorry, I'm yawning, my apologies. It's currently 2.30 in the morning. I'm editing 
so late and it's just you know you gotta hustle you gotta grind you gotta you gotta meow it out you know you gotta you gotta do okay? the thing of the thing and the, the yeah. you know the whole spider-man thing yeah so um as long as the game is fun which this game is fun you know the controls are great everything about this game is great and i recommend you play it yourself um because before this i played spider-man 2 on the playstation 2 um, I didn't think I realized how good it was for its time back in the day. I don't know why. I think I had a lot of fascination with the Spider-Man 2 movie because of Doc Ock, how he looked and how Spider-Man was, which if you go back and watch him, apparently all of the movies are kind of hot garbage. But, you know, compared to Homecoming, obviously, the Homecoming is in a different caliber of, of movie in general, all, all the MCU you movies really are but i i played the original spider-man 2 game which hey, that's where the the web slinging mechanic comes from the gold standard as a lot of online personalities have said uh, i played it and i loved it i completed it probably not 100 percent because i was young but here they give you a good indicator for every single collectible every single mission every single everything so you're not left wandering around trying to find these easter eggs trying to find this stuff it's just you go and you do it and that's it like it's it's good so that's what i love about this game the the, the web slinging compared to spider-man 2 it's everything i remembered it to be which is what everybody who has talked about this game ad nauseum has said so overall i i didn't really care about spider-man like, I remember caring about Spider-Man when I was younger, because that was okay. all you had Your men are before safe. the days Your of Who Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America, Maybe which I had a really Maybe weird thought the, the other day. There are some of you out there probably talks. watching this right now that have never lived in a world without Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, because Iron Man came out 2008. That's 10 years ago. A lot of you guys that are watching are younger than 10 years old. And my mind just was like, what? So this is a whole cinematic here, but I'm going to be talking through it because, well. Hello again. You know, yeah. Um, or I could not. No, I'll keep talking through it. Spider-Man, it just, you know what? No, I'm not going to talk through it. It's a cool moment. Enjoy it. I'm going to watch it with you. Again, for the third time. Fourth time. Oh, come on. It's so cool. Did that just happen? It's just so yeah. cool. And like you're swinging through the city and it's I'm just, it's so immersive. And the web slinging yeah. is so good. It's just all so good. You can't get, like this is the definitive Spider-Man game. Because back, back then, you only had Spider-Man. There's no other real superhero to get invested in other than maybe X-Men, but I didn't care about X-Men. So Spider-Man was the main thing but now that you have uh, heroes that, uh, to me, are a lot cooler, Iron Man, Thor, the Guardians, uh, you know, Spider-Man we've known for years, but this game really reinvigorated my liking for Spider-Man, because I just didn't, you know, he's, he's Spider-Man, you know, he's just the Marvel poster boy, but now with the MCU, we've had pretty much, you know, seven, no, not 17 years, like nine years of no Spider-Man in this cinematic universe, but now all of a sudden we have him, of course. But for the longest time, he wasn't the focus. But now, now that he's back and you got Spider-Man on PlayStation 4, it's good stuff. These missiles are nothing. Well, Ellie Jude Hotel is just totally, that sign, that's a, that's a lawsuit right there. 
And I wonder how much millions of dollars in damage this is actually Now's doing. Probably a lot, actually. But there we go. I rarely dodged during this section, so make sure you just, you know, rip off the panels. Don't worry about dodging too much, because you can just web them like that. So I keep that in mind. The engine. One engine down. Now for the second. This is your master plan? Replace Fisk? This is all in the beginning! Uh, 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 Need a plan. Plan real fast. I guess this is the plan! Come on, Pete, you got this. You got this, you got this, you got this! That's going to be it for future Brian. Past Brian. Please take it back up, shall you? These masks are so awesome. Where do you get them? Oh. We saw them. They're cool, thanks. Do they have a website? Uh, yes. Whoops. Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. Oh, crap, I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right, tell your pops I said congrats. And that is Miles Morales, ladies and gentlemen. That is awesome. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Actually, you know what? We're going to fast travel. I'm sorry, MJ. I'm sure what you have to say is Are extremely... You? Yep, I'm sure it's very important. Uh, let's go all the way. We can't fast travel really well. We can go over to here. The officer precinct, that's a little bit closer. So I think you avoid a little bit of dialogue that way too, which you can either be for or against. But I'm not uh, I'm not too worried about missing out on uh, on that stuff there. So this newspaper is asking who Spider-Man is. You could just ask him right there and probably get an answer. But you know, cool. Oh really? They're gonna tell me about the the towers now? Good enough All right. Maybe you'd let a sure. I guess instead us? of doing the Mary Jane Watson line, line they're doing that line. The All right. Let's the go to the ceremony. See what's going to happen. Because clearly, I mean, the last time there was a ceremony done. in a superhero uh, movie, I think it was probably like the Dark Knight or like the Dark Knight. Yeah, it was the Dark Knight. When uh, dinner, Joker. Oh, it's all set up really cool. Um, You know. It's not just we'll just we'll see we'll just see what happens we'll see probably a very heavy cutscene well uh oh it is a heavy cutscene so if you would like to skip ahead a little bit there's the stage entrance and we'll be right out front <sighs> sounds like a lot of people out there you'll be fine honey last time i gave a speech i was in high school Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or 
Maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Not honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. So? I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could... You know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Very heavy scene for a game like this. 
to keep in mind. You get to play as Miles Morales here as people evacuate the area after what was an attack on the ceremony. So, you can fully you control can Miles, but uh, similar in a way to uh, Mary Jane Watson, you can see his, uh, you know, his vision there is a thing. Um, I'm forgetting actually where I need to go. Um, oh, this way, of course. So, yeah, very, very heavy. Um, this does happen a couple times throughout the story, so in case you are uh, sensitive to it in any way, shape, or form, you know, you can skip those parts if you wish. Uh, this series is rated 13 plus, so, I, I mean, it's a rated T game anyway, so. Some darker themes in there, anyways, but yes, here we go. There you go. And using that, that will help much more. Are you okay? Nice going, kid. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you okay? All right, all right. You sure you're okay? Yes, I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna be alright. Alright, Lisa, I, I, I have to go find Dad, okay? No, wait. Miles, no! Miles, no! Dad's in there. I'll find him. Baby! Ah! Stay here! Please! Dad's alive. I know it. He was right there! That's got a sting. Oh. This is a turning point when it goes from a almost entirely happy game to being a game where it has some consequences and a lot of dark themes to it. So, very radical change for the uh, the game as a whole also. Nope, there is nobody else here. Yet. Nope, not yet. And wait for this guy to go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, up? not yet. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, then. Forgot about that. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Gets very heavy. I, uh... I, I've anticipated all this happening, so that's why I'm not as reactionary to it. When I, when I first played this, it was very... Not jarring, but very... Like, wow! This is... This is a lot, especially for a game like this. right there! Gotta help him! Just gotta avoid... Shooting you, Tom. And basically, from this point, you basically just rush it. I got you, Dad. Enough! We have to leave. Now! Dad. 
Dad! Dad! Dad, no! Wake up, Dad. Wake up. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh... That's what you were gonna say, right? Or... It all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's a part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Very powerful. Very, uh, just very powerful. Not much you can say in a situation like that. When that happens in a game, especially if it happens in, when it happens in real life. Level 13 has been achieved. Sorry, um, obviously, something you could kind of uh, see coming a mile away. No. If I you, you know, typically like his man. mother dies you, in the, the comics, I think. Get Instead, they did this. So, so something that I don't right. want to say is cool, but I guess interesting. Hey, in that same hey. uh, graveyard where you can see uh, Jefferson's, um, you know, his his grave, you can actually see Uncle Ben's grave also. So that is a a thing. I don't know if we can actually notice it. No, probably not. Not around here right now. But that is the thing you can do. Um, that's going to end it for this episode. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, and tuning in. Uh, not many more moments like that in Spider-Man, but they are here. So keep that in mind for the future of the series. So I hope you have a fantastic and amazing day. When I see you again, we're going to upgrade our suit and continue on to the second mission. Or the, the next mission, I should say. This officially begins Act 2 of this three-act story. So I'll see you next time. Bye.